How do you not know? In this city devoid of life, you sense the presence of another. The sorrow of a thousand thousand worlds weighs heavy, and yet you can walk on. It's what we do. Let's start Final Fins. This is what you guys have been listening to. This music is awesome. <gasps> oh, really? yeah, you said this before, Padre. Sung by Rabon? Yeah. That's cool. Oh. So good. Oh. Freaking nap. Bothering me. I'm having a mo. It's a gnat flying around here. Gosh. Oh my god. This is uh, amazing. Oh, uh, that's why Madrid was like, uh, you guys don't even know. Here is where the path begins and it ascends to dizzying heights. Let us make our way one sure step at a time. Are you gonna end this the same way we started it? Our friends got us this far. Their courage, their strength, their wisdom, their love. We owe it to them to continue no matter how long it takes. We began this journey with Alfie and Alize in the cart with us. Listen to the silence. We have to listen to the silence. All I can hear are my footfalls, my heartbeat. So much quieter now. But the fact that we can breathe and continue on is proof that the others are still with us. They are. They are, aren't they? They are, of course they are. Uh, to Alfie. Hankard would scout the road ahead. Stoll and Uriange would trade opinions on esoteric subjects. Gra would join in their discussion or else chat with me and Alize about the mission. Estinian would be at the rear, apart yet present. All the while you would come and go, wherever you are needed, and together we would travel. The portal is barely visible from up here. Truly, we've come far, much further than would have been possible had we kept chasing perfect ideals as we did in the past. It is because we have known failure and frustration that we have learned and grown from them, that Heidelin had entrusted us with this mission with the fate of the very star. It's all a dream, isn't it? A long, elaborate dreams. Any moment now, I'll wake up in my bed, still a student, grandfather alive, and go about my day relieved as the fragments of that other life fade away. And that would be happiness, wouldn't it? That none of it. No. No, I won't give up these experiences. Good and bad, they are mine. They are me. Gotcha. We're gonna keep going. It's we're already here. 
Yeah. So we're, we're already Same. here. We're already here. We gotta go. Wait, what is the three hour checkpoint? Good. That's how much is left. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. I. That means I'm. No, no, no. That's okay. Rest assured, I am fine, but thank you for your concern. What of yourself? Though we can't afford to be too leisurely, either need we rush undo me. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We've crossed an impossible distance to stand where we are now, and we're but a few steps away from journey's end, and it will be over before we know it. Me? Oh, I still have plenty of legs left in me, don't you worry. It's you I'm worried about. You always push yourself so hard for us, for everyone. And while we're here, we'll make sure to bear our share of the burden. Oh, I'm gonna cry. This might actually be the song to make me cry. Gaze at the stars. The innumerable lights that shine in the distance to think that they could all have birthed civilizations. To think that everything they built has gone to dust, their peoples lost to despair. Of the stars floating in the sea of midnight, ours is a lonely aberration. And yet, no matter how many worlds have met their ends, with you and Alize beside me, there is nothing I fear, no ocean so vast I cannot cross. Oh my god! Oh. at the distant star. Those broken stars I see, shattered, ruptured, unraveled. I wonder if they're also worlds recreated at their ends. The sight of them fills me with a sorrow I can't describe and a truth I can't deny. Birth and death. Whence we came and where we'll return. A wheel from which there is no escape. There are some structures up ahead. Still a ways to go before we reach the dead sun. Given all this, I, I know how naive it must sound to hope it all works out somehow. Still, you'll, you'll forgive me if I wish for it all the same, and for you most of all. Not that you of all people need it, it's just after all the help you've given me, for once I want to be the one to help you. Well, this is it, the end of the path, and the beginning of whatever awaits. There will be greater hardships we may be made to feel powerless. Yet come what may, let us have no regrets. No, let us have pride in what we have achieved, in what we achieved, and how it changed us for the better. That's worth fighting for, and dying for, as they did. All right, Bon, get it. is almost normal it's not unlike many cities we know but it's deathly quiet Mayhap the inhabitants, inhabitants are within the buildings or invisible to our senses. Wrong on both accounts. There is simply no one here. Who else would be saying that? Median.
This is how I found it when I arrived. Another star which one pulsed with life, but no longer. Another star which once pulsed with life, but no longer. Just adding words, no big. How it ended, I do not know. Invasion, sickness, suicide. None can say. None lived to speak for the dead. They are gone. Gone. Search all you like, but you'll only end up turning back. You're still creepy. Talkie talkie. What have you gathered, Alfie? Did you find anything? We did not. No, this place is completely deserted. And I can't see how we're supposed to move on from here. Neither can I. It's quite the quandary. There are no denizens to bar our path, yet there is no way forward. For another mystery, we did find signs of very recent life. You'd swear everyone just vanished into thin air. I've seen a show about that. Yeah. I wonder how many ruined worlds like this has Meteon seen. Mm. Oh. That's it. Could it be? Yes. Yes, I believe I may have puzzled this out. Meteon is the one preventing us. Despite how it appears, it's no different this time. There is someone here who has wished for this ruin. And I believe that together, oh, no. Alizé and I can overcome their Shit. will. Oh no, here come the tears. What are you talking about? No, I won't allow it. That's what I say as well. No! Oh. Man, I got. Oh, I got I'm mad. afraid it has to be done. For our comrades, for everyone on Atheris, and for myself. I will not pretend otherwise. I have my fears. Not for myself, but for you. The last to remain. You are no stranger to carrying the burden of others. But I can only imagine how heavy the weight would be this time. As your friend, I cannot bear the thought of making you suffer so. Then why suggest such a thing? It's too much to ask of anyone, even her. Why must she be the one? Why must she fight alone? More than a hero, she's a dear friend. Not only to us, but to so many others. There are so many people in the world who care for you, and yet... And yet... <laughs> Alizé. I have an idea. Given the nature of this realm, it may be possible to do more than unbar our friend's path. We might also pave her a new one. For instance, a path where she finds happiness at journey's end. <gasps> This much, I think we can believe with the utmost conviction, no matter how deep our despair. So please, believe in us too, and press on.
Thank you. What are you... If the plan's decided, then let's not dally. you are. It was as I said, was it not? It was. We couldn't find anyone. But this place isn't entirely deserted, is it? You are here. You sought out a Star of Promise and found a ruined husk. Like us, you explored the devastation. Like us, you were stricken. Horrified by the thought that so many lives could be snuffed out as if they were worth nothing. And the thought that you would have to bear the terrible tidings to Hermes. Mm. That which you saw and felt, you shared with your sisters. As did they share their own grim findings with you. Overcome by the pervasive despair of these stars, some of you inadvertently ushered their peoples to their ends. Knowing the horrors you know, anyone would feel the same. They would fear what lies ahead and struggle to move forward. Fear? I had forgotten that such a thing existed. So focused have I been on shepherding despair. If you can remember, then you can still face and overcome your own fear. Why would I bother with such an insignificant emotion? If the despair I command is as a raging river, then fear is but a trickling stream. Hmm. Hey. Yeah. It can do nothing to alter my flow. You spoke with the Aya, yes? Heard their tale of what awaits the universe. Freaking creepy right here. It's true. The stars grow colder and more distant. Eventually, all will enjoy frozen solitude. Using the power of Dynamis, I'm hastening that process. In so doing, nothing will be born ever again. Everyone will remain dead. Alas, it will take time for that to happen. So in mercy, I sent you my gift. To spare you needless suffering. Don't worry. Even if no living witnesses remain to mark the event, I'll make certain that Atheris has a proper end. For all the power you wield, you're more fearful than the familiar you used to be. That Meteon feared simply to move forward. But your fear is such that you've given up on everything. Mm. Mm -hmm. I know it well. That sense of defeat. I've tasted my fair share of it. But as many times as we've fallen down, we've learned how to pick ourselves up and carry on. We take each other's hand, share in each other's courage, follow in each other's footsteps, and turn sorrow into strength. There are times when we fail. We bear wounds that do not heal. But these experiences are part of life, and they make us stronger. We rise, fall, and rise again. Ah, oh, no. 
I can't hear what we're saying. Don't worry about us. You must take the next step. And all the rest after that. Goosies. I don't even know how to do that. Earlier in Old Charlian. Oh no, I felt that. Headache. Oh, they'll be fine. I know they will. Apologies for the interruption. A man arrived on the last ferry, an associate Ooh. of the Scions. Uh oh. He wishes to speak with you at once. Who is who haven't we seen? Emmett? Armor. Mm. What, who, you, who is it? He's mm. wearing armor. Who is it? Mm. Why are you saying that? You don't know who it is. <laughs> I do. Who is it? I can't tell you. Why not? Because. How do I not know? How do you not know? This city devoid of life, you sense the presence of another. The sorrow of a thousand thousand worlds weighs heavy, yet you can walk on. It's what we do. With your every step, these grand adventures shall grow more distant and faint. <gasps> and there may come a day when you forget the faces and voices of those you have met along the way. On that day, I bid you remember this. That no matter how far your journey may take you, you stand where you stand by virtue of the road you walked to get there. Push, I'll be right there behind you. <laughs> so good. What? Guys, we're end walking. Oh my god. Push, I'll be right there behind you. <gasps> Where's that thing, Chris? Keep going. Guess 
for end walking. We we can't end walk together, but we are. We're end walking right despair. next to You are not without allies. What we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering, and it cannot go on. Oh, walking alone unto journey's end, the burden weighing on me. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I'm going to cry. <laughs> No ninjas around here. I can't see them. There are skies now. Oh, oh, I'm gonna cry. Upon the souls of they who have sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace, we will never abandon our cause. We rise to greet a new dawn. Oh, Are you okay? Am I? <laughs> I'm not okay. A future shaped by the choices we made in ways we could never have foreseen. Yet miracles do happen. So let us pray and will our friends home. Now our memory gone. I won't stop praying until I know they're safe. so much here the path ends there is no way to reach our nest oh, I didn't even notice that was art burn at the end oh. I told you resignation and acceptance reign in this place The rejection of life by those who came to curse it. Those whose dreams were unfulfilled. Whose prayers were unheard. Whose labors were unrewarded. Hope cannot deliver you unto hopelessness. 
Our refuge is beyond you. Always has it been. Such is the nature of this place. You should have remained on a Theris. Oh, she changed her tune. Struggle will avail you not, nor will it grant your comrades peace. Come, let me relieve you of your burden. You have suffered enough. Stop it. We're gonna use it. Stop it. Bring him back! Asm's magic. So long as our souls remain, you can use it to summon us back. But you mustn't. How do we make peace? We don't ever listen to your story. It's too soon for this to end. You must triumph. Be safe, all of you, and come back. I am ever grateful. We came to appreciate most of our stars that there remains so much we do not know. After all these years, is this the answer I was hoping for? So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. Perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these few days we have lost. This is our friend. Do not squander it. That was old friend. The legacy friend. I leave you. That's him. That's Emmett. I won't forsake our cause. I won't forsake our cause. All right. Uh, All right. We are we summoning them back? We are. Stop that. Oh, it's our friends. We called them back. We're back. Oh. I bid them remember, but all this time, I'm the one who had forgotten. A right fool you've made of me, Hermes. <laughs> and to add insult to injury, <laughs> I've been denied a sound rest, forced to watch this clamorous show. <laughs> oh, come now. It's been a gripping tale. Unbreakable bonds and noble sacrifice, sprinkled with moments of levity to counterbalance the pathos. It's got it all. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth wall break in here. I, for one, would have been perfectly content to watch Enraptured from the stalls. We know these guys. Who are they? <laughs> but I won't say no to a bit part. What are you? <laughs> uh... You know what they are. Gosh, Mutian. Half-faded souls of the dead. Isn't it painfully obvious? Worry not. We haven't the power to defeat you, nor is it our duty to do so. Not anymore. That being said, we do have a score to settle. So here I am, Venar. I suppose you needed me to tie it all together, these frayed threads of our history. But knowing you, I suspect there's a joke in it too. Oh yes, I can imagine you gloating over my forgetfulness. <laughs> Were I feeling charitable, I might assume you had left room for the possibility of this outcome. Even so, You'll get no applause from me. A single gesture will not lighten the burden I've had to bear. Still, you must be commended. 
Our methods would not have brought mankind this far. Oh my god. And so, as a show of respect to the last of us, I make this declaration. We are as a... You will not end our journey. Oh. That is our answer. The answer of all lives of Atheris, past and present. Remember. As you've called us to the stage, so shall we perform. And creation magics never fail to please. Drawing upon the hopes of your comrades, we will make for you a new path. What form said path takes depends on you. So focus. Focus and envision that which rejects the claim that you cannot attain your goal. Ours is the wisdom to weave the fabric of reality. Ours is the power to create Wow, Elpis flowers. Wow. We brought you the flowers back, cause... Meteon. Though I gave you these wings to soar the heavens, I did not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet. Learn to walk, and run, and so much more. A flower. Yes. Upon your return, I will gift you a beautiful flower. So I said he was going to give her an Elpis flower. These Elpis blooms serve as proof that this realm is not utterly devoid of hope. No more can you deny its power. No more is yours the dominion of despair. In case the practical implications were lost on you, your comrades no longer need fight their fight. So go on, call them back to your side. <gasps> oh, man. Uh... Friends, come back. <gasps> They're all uh... alive. They're alive. Oh no! That was it. We didn't listen to Stola. It's okay. May you ever walk in the light. Ugh, <sighs> how disappointing. Not even a single scar <laughs> in the making to brag about. Of course. <laughs> You'll find a way regardless. Honestly, this is far more than any of us could have hoped for. Let us be thankful. Indeed, that we thus stand reunited is a gift. Let us not squander it and see that we all return to Etheris. Aye, as soon as we've averted the final days. Good to see you again. Our heroic sacrifice paid off, I take it. Come, my friends. Let us carry on and finish it. Together.
Come with us, Come Medion. Come with us. Think of what we could do together. <gasps> oh no. We cracked her shell, even if just a little bit. That very much does look like that, doesn't it? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. The voice is within, crying in pain, wailing in sorrow, hurting. Is the meteor hurting? End it. Silence it. Silence our song of oblivion. The way is open. They can proceed. So it seems. <gasps> You're leaving? Of course. The Encore is finished. And I will not suffer myself to live again by Hydling's magic. Is he gonna give us but a more than that, The future you seek is not the past we loved. That is why we fought, and why I lost. But though you defeated me, my ideals are inviolate, invincible. Spare me your pity. I have no use for it. If you would do something for me, save our star. See this tale to a triumphant conclusion, and with elation in your hearts, bid the final curtain fall. Only then may it rise again, and a new tale begin with new parts for all to play. <sighs> Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of Blind Frost in Offerd's North? The fabled golden cities of the New World. The sacred sites of the forgotten people of the South Sea Isles. What about Merisidia, the southern continent? Do you know aught of its present state of affairs? That's where the dragons are. I thought not. Even of your little Eorzea, you know precious little. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. All of which is to say, expand your horizons. Go forth and seek discovery. Some of the civilizations in the Reflections will surprise you. As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. I certainly did. <laughs> I
I pray we meet again. If not in this life, then perhaps another. Whensoever it should be, I trust it will be a most joyous reunion. For you, maybe. I want nothing to do with it. Oh, don't be that way. We got a smile. We got an Emmett smile. Oh, man. I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm all right. That's what I said, man. He's definitely a Sundere. <laughs> <sighs> We have people here. Oh my God. <laughs> There's people here with us. Oh my God. There's people here. Y'all are so cool. Wow. Oh, that's going to make me cry. Ah. I'm gonna have to catch up on chat because I don't know what you guys are saying. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Oh, you got out of your TV box. <laughs> Definitely didn't ever think there would be this much people here. <laughs> it's really fucking cool. <laughs> says like five. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> oh no. The first people to fall and feel pain and the first force to find a way to rise again. Ugh. From them we have come and in our pain and suffering we are connected. Nice. Hello Astinian. Oh Xenos <laughs> Good job, babe. Good job. My, all right. Very good Zenos. job. <laughs> I can't claim I fully understood the workings of this place, but in that moment, I felt I knew what I needed to do. I felt that it was the right time to offer up this life I owe, that I could risk it all on the wager that the rest of you would manage without me. Full glad am I to see that I was right. No need to explain. I have a rough idea what happened while I was gone. It was a strange feeling, as though I was struggling in a pitch black sea. A powerful tide was trying to wash me away. One that churned with hatred and envy for life. And it was all I could do to swim against it. Then suddenly, I was here. It felt long and short at the same time, hazy as in a dream. But through it all, one thing was crystal clear. You fought with all your being to keep our hopes alive. For all the lives on those stars whose light had been extinguished, for the ancients who went before us, I offer a solemn prayer. my fervent hope that our ancient friends will find a new beginning 
they and all their brethren who have returned to the ethereal sea. For that to come to pass, we must succeed. We must avert the final days, saying the theorists. To go and see all those places and more, Emmett Selk has given you quite a task. Suffice it to say, I should be glad to assist you once we've returned together triumphant, of course. Ready? We should talk to Alvin. Oh, yeah. I don't think I ever knew what to say to the man. In retrospect, it always felt like the wrong thing. But the past notwithstanding, he came to your aid in your moment of need. We are here, and we will not squander this chance he has given us. We'll see this tale to a triumphant conclusion and bid the final curtain fall. This is it. Our flying. We can fly. Wow. Oh, we can't touch. We can't touch the big pimple. Pimple of despair. Pimple of despair. Are you ready, CV? Are you ready, CV? I can't. God. I already started it before I saw there was a, a thing. <laughs> Is it one after the other? I'll throw something out before the, the, the trial. Then let us set forth for the reckoning. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll toss out my greets. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Having come this far, I know everyone's resolve is beyond doubt, so I will say only this. Within that dead sun swirls the emotions that Meteon has hoarded. The emotions of innumerable souls who strove for happiness but failed. As it was with the denizens of Ultima Thule that barred our way, it is not for us to rebuke and admonish. It was not by passing judgment on the tragic legacies of others that we arrived at this moment. Rather, it was by opening our hearts to their despair, by understanding and acknowledging their fates, while still refusing to share in them ourselves. To hold fast to hope, not in ignorance, but by choice. Should you struggle to do so, I am here to help, as you have all helped me. What do you want to say? We will prevail. Let's put an end to the end. That's good. I like I that like one. I like that one. That one's good. Aye. Aye. You didn't interrupt this podcast. Don't worry about it. You just saw your message. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Before the dungeon. Okay. What before message? you go in. Before you go in. It says, sorry, interrupt. 